A little bit ago, I sat down to make a video about the absolute worst type combinations in Pokemon, which was inspired by my video on the best type combinations in Pokemon. However, when I was working on the video, I was surprised by something. Of the 10 types on the list, 4 of them included the bug type. I was really taken aback by how awful the bug type was, and it got me thinking about how to make it better. I asked at the end of the video if my audience was interested in something like that, and the response was overwhelmingly positive. So I opened up my world champ brain and began to think. As a side note, I can see how many people subscribe after watching a video, so if this kind of content is interesting to you, please consider subscribing so I know to make more of it. Anyway, fixing the bug type. I'd immediately run into a problem. Obviously, it would be easy to make bug type the best type. Just make it super effective against everything, and resist everything. That isn't very interesting though, and it also immediately leads us to the hard part of this question. How strong should bug be? Not every type is created equally, and some types are always going to be stronger than others. My issue with bug at present is that it's just so much worse than the other types that it feels unbalanced and it really hurts a lot of bug type Pokemon's viability. I decided to do this video in stages, with each stage being another round of buffs I would add to Bug. The goal of the first stage is to get Bug to be an average, middle of the pack type. The goal of the second stage is to get Bug to be a good, above average type. And the goal of the third stage is to make Bug in contention for the best type in the game. Personally, the buffs I recommend are the first stage, as thematically it doesn't feel like Bug should be a better type than Fairy or Dragon, but I wanted to add additional options for people who are curious. I also want to add that as I'm focusing strictly on the typing, I won't be making changes to individual bug types. Obviously Pokemon like Ledian and Krikatoon are massively overdue for a rework, but that isn't the purpose of this video. I will only be looking at things that affect all bug type Pokemon. So with all that out of the way, let's take a look at how to fix Pokemon's worst type. The first thing we need to do is take a look at what exactly it is that makes bug such an abysmal type. Defensively, Bug resists fighting, ground, and grass, and is weak to fire, flying, and rock. Three weaknesses and three resistances aren't terrible for a type, especially as although the types Bug is weak to are fairly strong, being able to resist the ground type is a big deal. However, the real tragedy of Bug comes when you look at it offensively. Bug hits only three types for super effective damage. Grass, Dark, and Psychic. While there are always good Pokemon of these types, they certainly aren't thought of as especially common or some of the stronger types in the game. And, in exchange for hitting these three mediocre types for super effective damage, Bug has to deal with a massive 7 resistances to Fighting, Flying, Poison, Ghost, Steel, Fire, and Fairy. So, not only is Bug only able to hit 3 types for super effective damage while being resisted by 7 total types, the specific types that Bug matches up well against are relatively mediocre, while the ones that resist it include some of the best types in the game. Additionally, there are a few Bug type moves that in my opinion could use slight changes. We won't be looking at any exclusive moves like Vespa Queen's Heal Order here, only moves that multiple bug type Pokemon currently learn. With all of that out of the way, we're finally ready to take a look at how to fix Pokemon's worst type. As a reminder, the goal of the buffs in this stage are to take bug from the worst type in the game to something solidly middle of the pack. In my opinion, this can be accomplished with just a few changes. In this stage, we're only going to make one change to the type chart, and that is to flip the interaction between bug and fairy. In my opinion, the relationship between Bug and Fairy makes no sense from a competitive standpoint or a thematic standpoint. Fairy is the single best type in the game, with only three weaknesses, and Bug was already the worst type even before Fairy's introduction in Generation 6. Rather than having Fairy resist Bug, I think Bug should resist Fairy. Additionally, Bug should be super effective on the Fairy type. With just this one change, I think Bug would skyrocket in viability and end up as a solid middle-of-the-pack type. To highlight what I mean, I'm going to go through some of the bug Pokemon that are solid and illustrate how this change would make them better. Scissor is one of the better bug type Pokemon, but hasn't really seen much play since 2012 during Generation 5. While it pops up here and there, it is generally outclassed. However, changing the interaction between bug and fairy would give it new life. Thanks to the steel typing, Scissor would have an incredibly positive matchup against fairies, having a 4 times resistance. Additionally, Pokemon like Tapu Fini, Azumarill, and Tapu Koko that resist Steel thanks to their secondary typing would now need to be extremely careful around Scissor. In restricted formats, Scissor would be a much safer option to check Xerneas. With only one resistance to Fairy and middling Bulk, Scissor cannot currently reliably check Xerneas as Bullet Punch likely won't 2 hit KO after Intimidate, and Xerneas can 2 shot Scissor with Moonblast after Geomancy. With this change, Scissor would be able to shrug off Xerneas' attacks and hit harder with X-Scissor before trying to finish with Bullet Punch. 
Volcarona is another Pokemon that was extremely strong in VGC 2012, and although it's popped up here and there since then, it never really had another chance to shine since Generation 5. With this change, Volcarona would have two major roles. The first, in formats without restricted Pokemon, is as a Quiver Dance Sweeper. Currently, one of the major issues with Volcarona is that Pokemon like Tepu Fini are able to completely nullify its damage. With this change, Bug becomes a much more threatening offensive type, and when paired with Fire's good offensive coverage and wide array of viable moves like Flamethrower, Heat Wave, and Fiery Dance, Volcarona would be a much improved sweeper. The other role Volcarona can fill, especially during restricted formats, is the role of a supportive redirector with Rage Powder and Flame Body. A moveset of Protect, Rage Powder, Struggle Bug, and Whirlwind, Will-O-Wisp, or Flamethrower would allow it to match up favorably into multiple restricted Pokemon. Volcarona would have a positive matchup against both Zacian and Xerneas, and depending on the move pool could also be useful against Groudon, Yveltal, and Calyrex Ice. With a 4 times resistance to Fairy, Volcarona would be another Pokemon great at stopping Xerneas' momentum, as even boosted Xerneas would fail to do sizable damage to it. The last Pokemon I want to touch on here might surprise you, and that's Parasect. Parasect is a Pokemon with multiple 4 times weaknesses, but it actually has a niche. Parasect gets access to Spore and Rage Powder, in addition to the ability Dry Skin. In the first two parts of the 2019 format, one of the absolute best archetypes was Kyogre and Xerneas. These two Pokemon formed an extremely potent offensive duo, and were very difficult to take attacks from. With my proposed change, Parasect would have had a very useful niche. Immune to water moves thanks to Dry Skin, able to redirect Moonblast from Xerneas with Rage Powder, can support either Pokemon, and can hit Xerneas for super effective damage with X-Scissor, not to mention Wide Guard as an additional option to support the team. While Parasect definitely wouldn't have been meta, it would at least have had a niche and could have ended up being influential. With the Pokemon out of the way, I want to touch on a few changes to moves I would make. First is Bug Buzz. If Moonblast can be 95 base power, so can Bug Buzz. Bump that move up 5 base power. Next, first impression. Increase the distribution a bit more. Only 7 Pokemon lines learn it, and of those, only 2 are Bug. Next is Skitter Smack. This is a 70 base power move with 90 accuracy that lowers the target's special attack by one stage. I legitimately don't know what they were thinking making this move. Giving it a middling base power and not perfect accuracy ensured nobody was ever going to use it. In my opinion, it should be 100% accuracy and between 75 and 80 base power. Lastly, X Scissor. This is an 80 base power physical move with no secondary effect, even though I definitely thought it had increased critical hit rate until I started working on this video. I think X Scissor should get a 5 to 10 base power increase or an increased critical hit rate of one stage, allowing it to crit 1 in 8 times. With these changes, I expect Bug would go from being the worst type in the game to a solid middle of the pack option, similar to normal. It still has a number of weaknesses, especially in how many types resist it but the positive matchup against Fairy allows it to have a bit more identity and usefulness. Now, let's look at how to make Bug even stronger. We want to make Bug into a stronger type, but we don't want it to be one of the absolute strongest ones yet. We also want to make changes that fit thematically if possible, so stuff like Bug being super effective on fire is out. Lastly, the changes from the previous stage still apply here, so assume we're talking about a Bug type that resists Fairy and is super effective against it. In my opinion, the best way to give Bug another boost is to increase its resistances. This allows Bug types to increase their defensive capabilities to compensate for some of the lack of offensive range. When I was thinking about what resistances to add, I decided that I wanted to focus on types that were towards the middle of the type chart, as adding resistances is a lot of value. Combining this with the fact we want to remain within theme, I came to the conclusion that adding resistances to Psychic and Dark would be a significant buff to the Bug type. First, this fits in theme. Bug is already super effective against both Psychic and Dark, and many types resist the types they hit for super effective damage. Psychic and Dark are also not especially common offensive types. In many metagames, they're actually quite rare. Despite that, this allows many Bug type Pokemon to switch in with more safety, and gives them an additional defensive tool. This also helps eliminate weaknesses from some of the more average Bug types. Buzzwool, Scolipede, and Heracross lose a Psychic weakness, while Shedinja and Orbeetle lose their Dark weakness. Additionally, this change doesn't impact the two strongest Bug-type Pokémon in Scissor and Volcarona super significantly, though they definitely appreciate the extra resistances. In my opinion, this buff would allow some of the weaker Bug-type Pokémon to shine a bit more, without making the already strong Bug-types overpowered. Now for the fun part. How do we make Bug one of the absolute best types in the game? Our goal now is to make Bug into an S-tier type. 
We'll be keeping the changes from the previous two stages, meaning Bug gains resistances to Fairy, Dark, and Psychic, and now hits Fairy for super effective as well. So where do we go from here? Well, we've already improved Bug defensively with our three new resistances, and offensively by reversing the Fairy resistance. However, the fact remains that there are still six types that resist Bug. We do care about staying within theme, so most of the types here it doesn't make sense to remove the resistance to. Though I did read some interesting arguments online that Bug should not be resisted by Steel, I don't agree personally. However, one thing that I think is strange is that Fighting resists Bug, and Bug resists Fighting. This interaction doesn't make a ton of sense to me, as I don't understand why defensively Fighting types should have any resistance to Bugs. For that reason, I'd like to remove Fighting's resistance to Bug, taking Bug from an initial 7 resistances down to 5. I'm not convinced that this change alone is enough to really cap out our type though, so I'm adding an additional change. Many types in Pokemon have a unique attribute. Electro types are immune to paralysis, fire types are immune to burn, poison and steel types can't be poisoned, dark types are immune to prankster, etc. I gave a lot of thought as to what could fit thematically, and at the end of the day I came up with a solution that I thought not only fit thematically, but would also be useful without being overpowered. For this final buff, I would make it so that Bug-type Pokemon were immune to Confusion. Confusion is one of only two status conditions that a type is not inherently immune to, with the other being Sleep. However, Grass-type Pokemon are immune to Powder moves, which is where a fair bit of the Sleep condition comes from. I think that Bug-types being immune to Confusion not only fits with the theme of the type, but also aids the type competitively. Confusion is often not especially common in competitive play. But it's one of those conditions where, when it does crop up, it can be especially devastating. Additionally, with the nerf to Swagger's accuracy and the limited distribution of Flatter, I think this change would be helpful without being easily abusable or overpowered. So, just to recap. Our first buffs were to make Bug super effective against Fairy and to resist Fairy, while also buffing some of the moves. The second round added resistances to Dark and Psychic. And the third round removed Fighting's resistance of Bug, while also making the bug type immune to confusion. Now, I don't think Pokemon will make any of these changes, but it is interesting to think about. I haven't done any theory content like this before, so if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments. If this video does well, I'll probably make a video on how I'd buff the ice type or how I'd nerf the fairy type. Thank you for watching and let me know what you think of these proposed changes in the comments. Um, it's me. <laughs> World chip difference, baby. <laughs>